I'm giving you my top 10 NBA players surprising everyone this season. You'll see how each of these talented breakout players are dominating to exceed expectations in 2019-20, all in the midst of a countdown to ultimately find out the number one elite talent who's having the most stunning season. Number 10, TJ Warren. After he missed 43 games with a bone bruise last season, Indiana's front office decision to trade three second round picks to receive Warren's services last summer is looking like a swindle from Larry Bird. Staggeringly, Warren's taken his talents from the 19-win Suns last year to become the sixth-seeded Pacers' leading scorer this season while averaging a career-high in field goal percentage. He also has a high defensive awareness, reading out actions while aggressively hounding his matchup to rank sixth among forwards and steals. But the Pacers most value TJ's ability to create a shot from nothing off the dribble and hit tough off-balance shots. That's going to be damn valuable for them come the postseason. Number 9, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Maneuvering through defenses like a skilled seven year vet, OKC sophomore Phenom's producing nearly 10 more points per night than his rookie year. Replacing two all NBA talents like Russ and PG seemed implausible, at least for this season. Thunder GM Sam Presti expected to get one near 20 point score in Danilo Gallinari in the Paul George trade, but Gilgis Alexander was quite frankly an average rookie. He flashed potential, but given the draft picks that the Clippers threw in in the Paul George trade, it's safe to say no one expected Shea to have this type of a season. Gilgis Alexander became the youngest player ever to notch a 30 point triple double and the leading scorer for a Thunder team that's currently fighting for home court advantage in the Deep Western Conference. Number 8, Brandon Ingram. Before playing in his first All-Star game, touching on some treacherous years failing to live up to expectations as the number two pick in the draft, B.I. was straight up with the media saying, quote unquote, being in LA, going through challenges, going through everything that I went through, it definitely made me who I am. And as he showed off with 34 points in LA last night, who the four-year pro is now in the Big Easy is a confident over 40% three-point shooter and a polished, exquisitely aggressive shot creator finally using its length to his advantage. Ingram is producing nearly 25 points per night, and in his last 10, with Zion of course being back for all of those, Brandon's vamped his percentages significantly from deep range by over 4% and field goal percentage by over 3%. All the attention Beastly Zion's getting is clearly taking the pressure off Ingram. And the 22-year-olds attacked offensively with a different type of composure. Number 7, DeMontis Sabonis. Since moving to Indianapolis from Oklahoma City after his rookie season, Sabonis has gone from the Pacers' sixth man in 17-18 to a solid starter in 2018-19 to his team's most valued and consistent player across every category and of course an all-star recently in Chicago. If you're unaware of how good DeMontis really is, he's only one of six power forwards or centers next to Giannis, Carl Anthony Towns, and Nikola Jokic averaging at least 18 points, 10 rebounds, and 4 assists. Sabonis has made steady progression through his first three seasons, taking an elite step forward this year, and it's amazing to think that the raw big man next to Westbrook and his MVP season was just representing his team at the All-Star game. He's also right among bigs Rudy Gobert, again the Joker, and Bam Adebayo in screen assists, which truly represents the Lithuanian's all-around value. Coincidentally, number six, Bam Adebayo. And while our previously ranked DeMontis might be the third most well-rounded big in the league, Adebayo's right behind Nikola Jokic in that area offensively. But if we're talking defense and pure dominance, in a world where I was GM, it'd be tough to pass on the Heat's all-star in the middle. Bam will, without a doubt, make an all-defensive team in 2020, as his energy, lateral quicks, and intimidating reach allow for him to average over a steal and block per game. Quite simply, Adebayo does everything for you. He's a brilliant facilitator in any type of pick and roll action, leading him to shockingly average his position's second best five assists each night. Additionally, most scary for Bam's opponents being that he's 255 pounds of muscle at 6'9", is firstly his lob catching, but also his improved post-up repertoire that by playoff time could make Miami a serious problem. Top five's on its way, you're not gonna wanna miss it. First, Big Man gets his spot on the speaks board answering last video's question by saying the best undrafted story is definitely Fred Van Vliet from not being drafted to balling out in the finals. He may be an all-star someday. Great answer, I've received almost every yearly award for 2019 speaks top five, and I'll be mailing them to y'all shortly compete this year by answering the question coming up. Number five, Pascal Siakam. As we approach the postseason, as good as I've talked about Toronto being, 
It's becoming very clear they'll go as far as the spice takes them. Luckily, fellow Toronto basketball fans, Spicy P's hands are far from the worst to be in. He's not only one of the most desired up-and-coming players in the game, but one of the most valued players in the league in general. Well, at least according to Giannis uh, and LeBron. My second pick, I'm gonna go with my second African brother, Pascal Siakam. Oh, that's, that was a good pick right there, Giannis. That was gonna be my next pick. Oh my goodness, I was gonna take Pascal for sure. Pascal's an utter nightmare to slow down in transition, and the elk-like strides he makes both off the dribble or just leaking out and catching a pass are happening damn near all game. But we learned about that from Siakam through his first three seasons. Surprising everyone this year is the guard-like skills he has, whether it's his pull-up game from distance, tight handle, or electrifyingly impressive passing, where he's been consistently able to find the next play when doubled. There's new elements everywhere for the intriguing 25-year-old. Number 4, Damian Lillard. He's expected to miss a couple more games with the same groin injury that kept him out of the All-Star game, but anytime you're regularly throughout a 54-game span converting contested off-the-dribble attempts from 30-plus feet, in the midst of putting up insane career highs in points, assists, and field goal percentage, you rank atop the most elite surprises of 2019-20. The former All-NBA first team and five-time All-Star Lillard's fifth in player efficiency rating, ranking amongst all of the NBA's top talents and was turning his game up before he went down for Portland's playoff chances, scoring nearly 33 per game on 44% from deep over his last 10. Dame's range is a generationally great quality to witness. It recently helped him to become the first player in NBA history to average at least 45 points and 10 assists over a six-game span. Damian Lillard's maybe the most lethal guard on planet Earth. He's everything you want and more from a floor general, bringing Portland distance daggers, elite playmaking, plus monstrous buckets in the paint with his hops. Number three, Jason Tatum. Averaging over 30 points per game in February, knocking down half of his attempts from the field and from three this month. Tatum's elite dribble combos, combined with the fact that he's visibly added significant strength, are making him a nightmare to deal with in the paint. Meanwhile, outgenerating offense on the perimeter, his calm and collectiveness after the first two years of his career is extremely evident. After what Tatum just did to the Lakers, dropping a career-best 41 points on the team with the NBA's third-best defensive rating, then setting a career high in threes against Portland, and last night's destruction of the Utah Jazz, Tatum's had three straight games of 30-plus points. Jason's making superstar-like difficult attempts off the bounce with ridiculously creative dribble combos and extreme poise. It's for those recent beastly performances that he's ahead of players with higher scoring than him in Siakam, Ingram, and Lillard. Until I see performances from those three under the bright lights like Tatum just had, they rank below Boston's killer on the wing. Number two, Luka Doncic. After a mesmerizing Rookie of the Year season, Doncic has taken his game to special heights while carrying the Mavericks from the 14th seed last year to the seventh seed in 2019-20. It was easy to consider that the Slovenian phenom had all-star potential. I predicted he'd go to Chicago back in the first week of the season, but seeing him gain top of the league elite status already in his sophomore year with the triple-double averages and this much team success, is stunning to me. Given how Luka's progressed into superstar caliber this early in his career and his seamless capability to already take over games by producing assertively across every category, Dallas's franchise player could be on his way to all-time greatness. Number one's next, but honorable mentions to John Morant, who's the Rookie of the Year favorite by far, who I had on my 11 rookie stars list. He's been star caliber. His dominance has been somewhat surprising, but no more than these 10 other players. Then to the highly considered for a spot, Chris Paul, Fred Van Vliet, Norman Powell, Alex Caruso, Jalen Brown, Jordan Clarkson, Dwight Howard, along with Memphis's impressive supporting cast, Brandon Clark, Valanchunas, Delon Brooks, and Jaron Jackson Jr. Lastly, less considered, but still having stunning campaigns, quick mentions to Hassan Whiteside, Devontae Graham, Daniel House Jr., Montrez Harrell, Alec Burks, De'Aaron Fox, Kelly Oubre Jr., George Hill, Spencer Dinwiddie, Kendrick Nunn, and the injured Luke Kennard. Number one, Trey Young. For holding his own game up with little support throughout the year and for boosting his points per game by nearly 11 points after a Rookie of the Year runner-up season, increasing both his three-point and field goal percentage significantly, ice trays the player surprising everyone the most. 
To be clear, I'm not saying he's better than Doncic, just having a very slightly more shocking season. Also, since Young lost a close Rookie of the Year race, he's getting his long overdue respect tonight. He leads any other player on the Hawks who's played at least 35. meaning there's been very limited talent surrounding him on a consistent basis, something we can't say about Doncic. He's got Porzingis chipping in with 19 per night, Hardaway Jr. averaging over 15 and a pretty impressive cast of talent off the bench. Trey doesn't have anything close to that kind of support, but is still dramatically increasing not only his scoring totals but his three-point efficiency, which is underratedly special. Again, he's not the triple-double monster that Luka is. He's realistically a bit worse at this point in their career but every bit of opposing defensive game plans are honed in on shutting Trey down. That's why he's the NBA's most elite surprise. For lists like that one, plus NBA stories and predictions, subscribe to stay tuned. You see the question. Go check out some of my other lists and stories. This was your boy D-Flow. I'll see you next video.